Hey, we're back at log, Cedar Log 4 up on the mill. Uh, we just got done with the solar eclipse. Hopefully, uh, anybody in its path that had a chance to watch it, watched it. We watched it through a welding shield, not a welding helmet, because my welding helmet is auto-darkening, so that doesn't work. But uh, we have a shield, and we watched it through the welding shield, which is uh, like a nine shade, work perfect. Um, still kind of a little bit dark out it's not uh hasn't uh, hasn't completely gone away yet so it's still covering the sun a little bit here in new england we got to like 92 percent uh we never got completely we never went completely dark but um so i'm gonna run this one and uh we're gonna kind of see how far this band will go um cedar is tough on bands because it tends to collect, uh, it, it tends to grow in sandy areas and get sand in the bark. And uh, it, it does have, um, I think, silica in it. So it tends to be somewhat abrasive. But uh, so far, this thing's just cutting awesome. So we're going to run this one. Um, it's kind of a funky shape. I think I'm just going to think of, try to get, I think I will end up trying to get um, a flat spot on the top and the bottom, mill this side and this side, and then maybe take the boards this way. Hopefully you can see that. I think I think the boards are going to come off like this. I'm just going to try and clean up the top, probably just go 90 degrees and take the side off it, and then just take the bottom off it. Uh, I don't, I think it'll work out either way, but I think I'll finally, whatever my bigger dimension is, I'll flip that down and try and take boards that way. I think, uh, we got a nice stack of lumber going on. They're getting a real good deal here. I might have to think, rethink how I charge for this, to be honest with you, because I'm milling them out in about 20 minutes a log and for what they got for basically, um, or 25 minutes a log. But I think I, uh, at like $100 into it, so I had 40 in the first one because of setup and everything, and then I had like 30 and 30, so that's $100, and for $100, what they're getting, they're getting a home friggin' run here, they're getting a, there's no way you could go to buy cedar like that you get two boards for a hundred bucks. So, um, I might have to rethink how I charge for it. I think a hundred dollars an hour is reasonable. This isn't hard milling or anything. It's not hard on the, um, the setup or the mill or me or anything. So I think hundred dollars an hour is reasonable, but we're going to mill this one out. I've still got a few more small ones over there that are going to just be really quick. Uh, whether I'll video them all or not, I don't know, but let's go ahead and burn through this one and we'll just, We'll just keep testing these uh, roller guides and see how it goes. So far, um, like I said, so far they're a home run. You see how the band feels. So the band still, it's not prickly sharp, but it's, it still feels good. It still feels reasonable. Um, let's see how it goes. So I think we're going to be somewhere, I don't know what that height is there, but it's going to be approximately seven inches here to cut out right here. I'll probably just take that one pass. There is, I don't know if cedar stains or not, but there is a little dark color right here. That kind of, I'll take a look at that when I flip it over because this is a butt cut, but I think uh, just take it at seven. There's no good wood. I don't believe in anything else there. It's nothing on top. It's really funky shape. So we'll just take it off at seven.
still just cutting. Compared to the ceramics, it is cutting miraculous. It's just so much different, so much better. It's really hard to explain unless you uh, unless you run it yourself. It's completely different. Um, let's see. I'm down at two. Down at three. I should be okay for this pass. Dirt's on the outfeed side. That should be okay. Let's clamp it down. Get an idea where we're going to take it off. It's going to be somewhere around six or five. I think we try it at six. Looks good. Let's try it at six. See if we can get one by sixes out of it. So it doesn't look like it went down enough there. <coughs> Let's take one more inch out of it. Take it off the five, try to get one by fives. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, it definitely needs it. I'm just going to come down to five. One thing that I have going on right now is my water delivery system. I got my drip rate is like perfect. I don't know that I've ever had my drip rate dialed in this good before. Give you an, an idea how good it's cutting. That's a close-up of how smooth it's still cutting. I mean, there's a lot of crap on this. Let's go ahead and scrape it off. I'll give you a look at it. I don't normally do the you know the big reveals on wood because I think it's just stupid but really cutting really cutting beautiful so flip that one up on its side take a couple boards off it flip it over and uh, finish her out see what we get for time on it probably mill this whole log and I could probably mill this log without video in 10 minutes 10 minutes with no problem going at it. Looks like this bottom side here is fairly flat. It kind of goes like this a little bit. So I think it's the only way to go. Um, let's go ahead and throw a clamp on it real quick. See how square it is. I go over a little bit more. There we go. It's kind of close. Oh shit. There's a <laughs> there's a weird uh, half flat spot on the bottom. It's got its own. Oh, perfect. Ha! <laughs> got lucky. There's a weird uh, flat spot on the bottom of the log, so it kind of like was sitting there. It wouldn't twist. Okay, let's see what we're going to get to here. So, probably eight. Eight's pretty low. We'll try it at nine first and then see what happens. And these are five inches wide. Come on. We'll try it at 
nine. Let's see what that looks like. Let's just take that off right there. Wasted cut. See if that goes right back on the log. See if there's any deflection. There's no deflection. It's like cutting. Beautiful. Let's flip it over, get these two boards off. Both of those are cut at seven eighths. Drop our stops down and mill the whole thing out on We'll just mill it all seven eighths on one inch, um, one inch uh, drops, not one inch boards. So it ends up being one inch drops, just because that's what I've been doing the whole time. So all their kind of boards would be consistent thickness. All right. Sitting perfect. So it looks like um, this doesn't work out great. Looks like it's going to be a cut at six and then drops from there. Wood off basically.
Almost sounded like I nicked my stop there. No, wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. Sounded like I hit something on that last pass. Nice one by fives. Let's we'll see if I hit a nail on that. It was kind of weird noise it made. Beautiful boards. I'll show you guys in a minute. Did make a weird noise down here. Nope. No, there's nothing there. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting nice, nice lumber out of this. Let's give you a look at that. A uh, stack of one by fives there out of that little log. Perfect. Plus, I get that slab. I'll give them the slab. We could probably get a, probably get a one by, probably eight out of that if they so choose. And uh, we'll. We'll go on to the next one. So still, the band is just still cutting. There's just no waves in it. It's edges are nice and crisp. Um, it was just cutting perfect. It's cutting beautiful. There's a little tension in this log. It kind of flexed a little bit on the end, but I mean, it's, you can see it right here. But uh, yeah, these. Just throw it on the ground, break it in half, kill a $15 board. Um, yeah, so still going good. See if I get a smaller one up here. I got a couple that are going to be, I think, made into like uh, four by fours. Probably mill this whole thing out today. So take a look at the time, but I think it's just going to end up being 30 bucks a log and That's it. So uh, see you on the next one. Our solution's out.